Hey, good afternoon. How's everyone doing? Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to, to be here. I'm excited to be alive. I'm excited to have my faith restored. I'm excited about everything that God is doing. I'm, I'm just, um, I, I'm, I, you don't understand. I have a message today that, that whoever is discouraged, whoever is, is downtrod, whoever is, is down, I got, I, got, I got a word for you today. God has, is good. God is good. God is faithful. God is on time. God is, God, God is perfect. God is perfect. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, God is so good. You don't understand how God is good. Um, and, and the reason why I'm saying this is, is because I this week I I, I I well, yeah yeah the the last week I've been I was discouraged. I was like, you know, God, you know what's going on, you know, and 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 I I was angry. I I, I could admit it. I was angry. It's like God has been taking me to different places to to pray. To, to like, I, I came here to Pennsylvania, I was praying, I was praying, Lord, you know, I, I, I want justice, I, and, I, and I know you're in control, and, and, and I know everything is, is, is on track, and, and you, know, you know, just everything that is right, Father God, let it be right, Father God, in this state, I walked around this block, I, I paced around, and I prayed, and I prayed, and let me tell you, I'm not a person of prayer, but God, you know, brought me to key places to pray. And, and I'm not like, I'm going to do what you say, God. I'm going to do exactly what you want me to do. So I did it. I did it. I prayed here in Pennsylvania. I seek the Lord. I'm like, Lord, any kind of fraud, anything that, 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 that is not right, let it come to light, Father God. Let everything be, be exposed, Father God. All wickedness, Father God. Anything that is not from you, Lord, let it be exposed. And it's funny because then the Lord takes me to Georgia. And this is something that my wife had planned how, how long ago? Like a while ago. Mm -hmm. So, and, and then it's funny that he takes me to Georgia and, and there's this big runoff race for the Senate and this and that. And I'm like, well, Lord, you brought me to Georgia to pray then. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I started, we were in a cabin. I started walking around that cabin every day for hours. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, just bring justice, Father God, to this place, Father God. You see this runoff, Father God. You see the people that are running here. There is wickedness, Father God, in this land. And let me tell you, I ran. I, I, I was looking at the, at the, at the, at the, at the deck there, and it was all moldy and everything. And I, I walked that deck so many times that I think I pressure cleaned it with my feet. I, you know, I was, I was like, Lord, you're gonna do something. You're going to do something. You have called me here to pray, and, and I am going to pray. So I was praying, and I was seeking God, and I, and I was seeking God for a victory, Lord. And I know, I was like, Lord, I know something is going to happen, and, and, and you're not going to allow the wicked to, to prosper. And, and because I knew there was wickedness going on, because I, I studied, and, and I've been studying about what's going on. And, I, and let me tell you, I'm not a politic person. I, I, I believe in the Word, and, and I get into the Word, and, and I don't even like I, I don't even like to talk about politics or nothing, but God has... God, brought me there and I knew that I had to pray and I had to pray for this and 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 I was I was doing research on this this so-called pastor and I was like man what's up with this guy I know the people can't vote for this guy this guy is not right you know what I mean there's no way and and, and I started you know, doing research on this guy, and this guy would praise Castro, and 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 I knew that 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 the party that that he was running for, they, that was their agenda. You know what I mean? Their agenda is for socialism, and 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 for them to be in charge of you. That that it, it's the same thing that that we've seen in Cuba and everything. And, and and I was like, no, Lord, this is not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. I'm gonna pray. This is not gonna happen. This guy, this guy Warnock, he he is not right. He's not the man for the job and, and you cannot place them there in, in office and I was praying I was seeking and and, and and I and I and I got some information so for you guys to know this guy this guy here he speaks from his pulpit look two days after Castro November um November 2016 death Warnock prayed for the people of Cuba and said we remember Fidel Castro whose legacy is complex hello don't let anyone tell you a simple story. Warnock told parishioners, life usually isn't very simple. His legacy is complex, kind of like America 
legacy is complex. Yeah, complex. What was Castro's agenda? It is complex, and it is to um, oppress the people. It's to give the people what they want. I'll, I'll give you this, and I'll give you that, I'll give you that, but you got to do what I say. You got to do what I say, and we see it, what's happening right now. It's like, get, like, I can't even say what I need to say, but, you know, I'll give you, I'll give you this, I'll give you that, but you can't say nothing. You, you got to shut your mouth. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. My parents left Cuba for one reason, for their children, me and my sisters, to live in a free country. You understand what I'm saying? To be free. So that's the reason that I'm fighting. That's the reason that, that, that I'm praying. That's the reason that I went, you know, to, to, um, to Washington, D.C., you know, last week. And, and, I, and I prayed and, you know, and, and I did what I needed to do because God called me to do it. I wasn't even going to go to Washington. And the Lord said, go to Washington. And I've seen many things in Washington. And, and a lot of things that, that came out on the news that is, is, is not true. It's not true because I was there and I seen it. And, and that's the reason that God told me. And I, and I didn't go to Washington to protest. I didn't go to, 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 to do anything else. I went to pray. I went to pray for this country. And, 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 and I, I went to pray for freedom. And that's what I went to, to Washington for. I didn't go to Washington to, to make no, no ruckus or nothing like that. And, and, and that's the reason that, that I was pissed off. Because the night before, I, I seen that this guy, Warnock, won the election. I was like, oh my God, Lord, come on, man. You know, and, and, and everybody's so excited. You know, all these, you know, I'm, I'm going to say Democrats, they're all excited about, you know, Trump loss and this and that. And, and, and But you don't understand the big picture. All you understand is what you want, what you could get, but not what the people's agenda is. And, and I'm I'm, sp I'm gonna speak some truth today, and I'm gonna show you what God told me. And 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 my discouragement is not there anymore. I am praising the Lord, and I'm excited. I'm ready to have a party because I was fighting the wrong fight. I was not only does he praise Fidel Castro. You understand what I'm saying? Look what look at another thing. That I was like, there's no way. There is no way that the people of God could vote for this guy. There's no way. There is no way. This guy is contrary to the word of God. And he calls himself a pastor. There's no way that this guy could win. He needs to, like, like by a landslide, this other guy, Purdue, has to win. There's no way. And I've been praying and I've been doing this and this and that. And then and, and I get this news early in the morning. Oh, this guy won. I'm like, no way, Lord. I'm wasting my time here. I'm wasting my time about this guy. He says, listen to what he said. I've been focused on women's health. Health. I know about women's health. Let me tell you, because my wife has had some abortions. And her health has been, and her mind, she has been tormented because of her abortions. So don't give me that crap about women's health. Listen to this. He says, I am focused on women's health, women's choice, and reproductive justice. He said, it's a... Consistent with my views as a Christian minister, and I will fight for it. So I keep doing research on this guy. I, I, I keep looking for information. This is me. And it says, Reverend Ward, Warnock, being consistent through the years, even has run for elect office about his stance for reproductive freedom. Really create an opportunity to shift the public's narrative, said Jackson. Jackson, religious people can be pro-choice. <laughs> Listen to this. Many Christians agree that abortion should be legal. All or most cases, including, listen, 60% of white mainland Protestants and 56% of Catholics, according to the 2019 poll from Paul Pew Research, black Protestants were even more supportive with 64% of those surveyed saying the same thing. Only white evangel evangelists, evangelical Protestants exhibit majority opposition with 77% saying the practice should be illegal in all or most cases. So I'm like... 
dude, no wonder the church is like, the church is messed up. The church is messed up. The church is messed up. Listen to this. Nevertheless, Warnock's candidacy in Georgia runoff election has turned into something of a debate over religious support of abortion rights, shining a, a spotlight on their views while testing how we they will respond to voters in the Deep South. Warnock's part has strongly affirmed his set his sense in the face of pushback from the right. The pastor of Atlanta Ebenezer Baptist Church, once home of Martin Luther King, what a, has repeatedly affirmed his commitment to abortion rights, tweeting out his dedication to reproductive justice and telling a Georgia radio host that his position is not in conflict with his faith. Hello? Listen, I think his faith is in conflict with God's word. He said, he said, no, it's not in, in, in conflict with my faith. So your faith, Mr. Warnock, is in conflict with God's word. Because Proverbs 16 says that God hates the shedding of innocent blood. So let me tell you, man, Mr. Reverend, if you ever listen to this video, your faith is in contract, is in contract with God's word. Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, we are, I was angry. I was angry, angry, angry. And I was telling God, come on, man. This cannot be happening. But then God showed me something. And this is where it all happens. This is where it all happens. Eddie was mad. And my flesh was, ah. But it's not, I was fighting the wrong battle. And God showed me, hey, dude, you are doing the right thing. Rejoice because I am in control of everything that happens. And then when when I when I come to realize that, and maybe today you come to realize that, then you're gonna say, Lord, I'm fighting the wrong battle. Amen. And now and today I'm gonna show you why is it that we are that I was. Not you, I'm not saying that you were fighting, but I'm I'm putting myself into this message because it was me that was fighting the wrong battle. Listen to this. This is in the amplified version. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Everybody knows this. But this is in the, in the Amplified because I like how it brings it out. It says, in conclusion, be strong in the Lord. Be empowered through your union with Him. Listen to this. Be empowered with your union with Him. Because when we're with Him, we have power. It says, draw your strength from Him. That strength which His aboundless might provides. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Put on God's whole armor, the armor of heavily armed soldiers, which God supplies, that you may be able successfully to stand up against all the strategies and deceits Amen. of the devil, of evil. We could stand. We could be those warriors. God's told me you are doing the right thing. Don't worry about what's happening. I have this battle in control. The victory is mine, says the Lord. Get up and keep fighting the good fight of faith. Real faith. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this thing is not over. If you think it's over, your, you, your faith has gone down. This has just started, and we Woo! need to fight a good fight. And our fight is not in the natural. It's not in what we see in, in, in the media and everything that's going on. It's over. It's not, ever, it's not even close to being over. And I believe it. I believe it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I praise his name for it because I've been fighting the wrong battle. Our battle is not here on this earth. It's in heavenly realms. Let me tell you. It's not here. It's not here. I was fighting the wrong battle. Our battle is in, in the heavens. Listen to this. Woo. We're going to stay in chapter 6, verse 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power of this dark world. That's our fight. And against the what? Spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. We are not fighting here. We are fighting in the heavenly realms. Okay, let me, 
let me see some let me show you something here it says for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms do we live in the heavenly realms no but we fight in the heavenly realms in the king james the heavenly realm says High places. We're fighting up there. Our, our battle is not down here. Our battle is in heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Our battle is not here. Our battle is in heaven. Listen to this. We are not fighting against man here. That's my problem. I'm fighting against man. I'm fighting against politicians. And I'm fighting all kind of stuff because I'm pissed off. Because this and that. And today I rejoice because I know that my battle is not here on earth. My battle is in heaven. Hallelujah. Even though sometimes I feel like I'm fighting here because that's my flesh. But when I get into the spirit of God, I know that God is listening to me. I know that I'm fighting this fight in the heavens. I know that God is doing a mighty work because I, I am not fighting here on earth. He says our struggle is not against flesh and blood. It's not a, with this. It's with our spirit that we're fighting. And that's the wrong. That, that's the thing. You know, we're fighting with people here on earth, but our battle is not here on earth. According to verse 12, it says, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. But let me tell you a little secret. The enemy uses people also to get on our nerves. <laughs> let me tell you, there's a, he, and let me, he, he uses the media to get on our nerves. <laughs> amen. Who can say amen to that? You, amen. You guys, you guys understand where I'm coming from. He, the enemy he uses the media to get on our nerves. And, and they do whatever they feel like it, but we can't say nothing. And they try to take our, our First Amendment and because they, they're in control of anything. And, and, and if you don't see that socialism, then you're blind. You, you, you need to open your eyes and see that that what's trying to come into this world, that is not going to come because my God is more powerful than any of those things that are trying to take over my country. This is my country. And God and I'm, God is not going to allow it to happen. And I believe it because I am fighting. And I'm not fighting with the people here. I'm fighting I'm fighting in the heavenlies. Woo! Hallelujah! That's what we need to be doing. We need to be fighting in the heavenlies. This is so important. Look, let me get into this subject. It's Okay, Paul says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power of this dark world. Hallelujah! Against the spiritual forces... Of evil in the heavenly realm. So whatever we're doing. Whatever we're doing. Wherever we're going. Wherever your life is rooted. Our battle is in the heavenly realm. We cannot fix our eyes on what's happening here. That's what the enemy wants to do. Because when we fix our Amen. eyes on the things that are here. We get unfocused with what God wants. But when he, he says fix if the Bible says, fix your eyes on Jesus. When you fix your eyes on Jesus, you have a party. And I'm having a party here today. I'm excited to see what God is going to do. Oh, no, no, Eddie. It's over. It's not over. Like they say, it's not over to the fat lady sings. I've been talking to people like, you have some faith. Yeah, I have some faith. You know what? Because I'm not fighting my battle. Woo! My battle is from the Lord. Hallelujah. My battle is from up there. I'm fighting the good fight of faith. And I'm believing that God is going to do a mighty work. Oh, hallelujah. You might not jump on this, um, on my bandwagon, but it's not mine. It's the Lord's bandwagon. Hallelujah. Let me say this. Spiritual warfare is a conflict of the invisible realm. We can't see it. I can't perceive it, but I know that God is doing it. <laughs> and that's what faith is all about. That's what faith, I can't see it. I can't, I, I, and some of us can't even believe it. I sometimes say I can't believe it, but I know God is doing it because my fight is not here. My fight is not against all the stuff. I, I'm not even fighting what the people say on the Christian channel. I am trusting in the Lord because my strength comes from Him. I am partying today because I know that God is in control of everything that happens. You, some people might say, Eddie, you're a fool. You, you don't see the big picture. I see the big picture because I can't see the picture here. My picture is in heaven. Hallelujah. And when my picture is in heaven, I can see clearly. Hallelujah. I can see clearly everything that's happening. You know why? Because I am not 
fighting here. I I I, I was confused and I had to I had to let I had to repent and ask the Lord, forgive me, Lord, because I I I, I didn't see the big picture. The big picture is not here. The big picture is in heaven. Hallelujah. When I fighting with spiritual warfare. Our spiritual warfare is in what heavenly realms. Hallelujah. Our battle is in the unseen. That is response that is our responsibility to fight. So people today are trying to fix their things with methods and all kind of stuff and 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 Trump is gonna do this and this is gonna happen. <laughs> God is going to get the glory. Hallelujah. Think about it. They, he, he ain't Trump going to do nothing. He ain't Giuliani. Nobody's going to do nothing but Jesus Christ himself. Let Woo! me tell you. Joshua is in control. Joshua is in control. And Reu Hagadesh is moving through this land. And God is going to do a mighty work. And if you believe and you start fighting in the heavenlies, let me tell you, we're fighting the good fight of faith. Hallelujah. Paul says our battle is not against flesh and blood. So what I come to understand about this is that we are not battling here on the earth. <laughs> I'm, my battle is not here. My battle is not here. Because it, 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 if it is here, then I'm going to lose my battle. Hallelujah. But when my battle is in heaven, I have the victory. Hallelujah. See what the scripture says in Ephesians 1, 3. It says, Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in what? In the heavenly realms. Our blessing even comes from the heavenly realms. Hallelujah. Bring down your blessing. Your blessing is not here. Your blessing comes from up above. With every spiritual blessing in Christ. So everything that God is doing is located in the heavenlies. Hallelujah. So we could even see that our blessing here is from heaven. Verse 20 says, He ex exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the what? Heavenly realms. Jesus is our, the Bible says that he is our advocate. He is our lawyer. He is sitting right there saying, Eddie is doing his thing because he is praying up there because Jesus is not down here. So I'm praying. And it says everything that I pray to Christ, he takes it to the Father. Amen? That, that's what I understand. So I'm praying in the heavenly. I am praying up here. This is, this is what we're in, interceding for. Listen to this. Romans 8.34. He is to condemn. Who is to condemn? Sorry. Jesus Christ, the one who died, more than that, who was raised, who is, listen, listen, hallelujah, this is what I was talking about, I, I, I preached it before I even, I even read it, listen, who is at the right hand of God, who what is, indeed, is interceding for us, hallelujah, so if Christ is in the heavenly realms, where is our prayer need to go, in the heavenly realms, because what, Christ is what? interceding for us. Listen to what um, chapter 2 says. And God raised us up with who? With Christ and seated who? Us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. So we even have the ability to sit with Christ in heavenly realms. I'm not making this up. This is what the word of God says. Woo! So all you haters up there, I'm sorry, but I'm just preaching the word of God and I'm telling you where we are going to win this battle. Rejoice and be happy because God is in control. God is listening to our prayers. God is listening to all that pacing that I did over there. God, oh, it's impossible. <laughs> God works in the impossible. Woo! Who can say amen to that? Amen. My God works in the impossible. I guarantee you that. I know that for a fact. Hallelujah. Let me give you an illustration about this whole situation here that, that, that we were interceding in the heavenly realm. It's like, it's like FaceTime. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? I'm here, right? 
I'm, I'm here on my phone, but I'm looking at something else in, in Florida. I'm in Pennsylvania, but I could be talking to Omar in Florida. Say, yo, Omar, what's up? You understand what I'm saying? That's the same thing that I got with God. You understand? I'm FaceTiming with him. He's looking at me, and I'm looking at him. And that's what we need to be doing. Ooh, hallelujah. You like that, right? But I'm not there in Florida in the physical with Omar, but I am there my face is there. My words are there. My Everything that I'm saying is there, but I'm here. That's the same thing that I'm doing when, when we're preaching, when we're, we're praying in the heavenlies. I'm here, but let me tell you, my prayers are over there. God is looking at me just like Omar is looking at me in the phone and listening to my words. Jesus is looking at us and listening to our words, listening to our prayers. Amen. Listen to Ephesians 3.10, what it says in the Amplify. It says, so now, the, through the church, the manifestation, wisdom of God in all its countless aspects might now be made known, revealing the mysteries to the angelic, listen, rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. <laughs> Hello, open your eyes. Today is a great day to rejoice and be glad Woo! because our prayers are with the angels also. Hallelujah. We have angels assigned to us. God, my, my, it's like, I was like, my angel, I didn't even know his name. His name is Faithful. Hallelujah, because he has been faithful to me, even though when I was down and when I was destroyed, he was faithful. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you brought faithful in my life. And let me tell you, faithful is listening to everything that I am saying also. He is fighting the battle. <laughs> my faithful is fighting my battles. And, and I believe, and, 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 and the word says it. It says, God in all its countless aspects might now be made known, revealing the mysteries to the angelic rulers and authorities in heavenly places. Listen to this. Let's go to Hebrews 1.14. It says, are not all the angels ministering spirits sent out by God to serve Accompany, protect those who will inherit salvation. <laughs> of course they are. 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 God is listening. Amen. When, when this thing, when I, when I finish this message, let me tell you, get down on your knees because God is listening. Jesus is listening. The angels are, are fighting for you. Everything is like coming into control. Hallelujah. God is in control. God is in control. Oh, how, how, how could you say that? Eh? The, the word says that. What happened to Daniel? What happened to Daniel? You guys know the story. Most of you guys. Some of you guys don't. So I'm, I'm going to read a little bit here. Listen to what Daniel 10 says. Chapter, um, chapter 10, verse 12, it says, Then he continued, Do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before God, your words were heard, and I have come to respond to them. God, listen to it. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is fighting my battle. God is fighting my battle. God is fighting my battle. Listen to this. Oh, Jesus. I'm messing all this up. I spit all up on this app. All over, boy. Let me tell you, I'm fired up. I'm happy. I'm going to have some cake today because tomorrow I start my fast. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, verse 12, then he continued, do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding. What was Daniel doing? Daniel was praying, hallelujah. Gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God. Your words were heard. Your words are going to be heard. Your prayers are going to be heard. Listen to this, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of Persia, king, Persian kingdom, resisted me for 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia, with the devil. 
Let me tell you, but you know what happened? Michael came and loosed them. Hallelujah. He came and it says, now I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people in the future for the vision concerning a time yet to come. The time is here. We need to keep praying because the time is here that we are going to see the victory. God is explaining to you today. We need to fight in the spiritual realm. God is in control. God is on the throne. God is going to do the work that needs to be done. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose your, your thing, even though everything looks impossible. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because Jesus is on the throne. It says, verse 12, I'm going to go back. It says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against authority. We're not fighting we're not fighting people. We're fighting in the heavenly realm. But if you see Daniel, he was fighting. He was praying. And, and what happened? He, the, he, the angel it got detained. It looks like there's some detainment going on right now, right? <laughs> but what happened? The angel came through. The angel came through. Jesus is going to come through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't fret. Don't, don't, lose, don't lose your faith because Jesus is going to come through. Don't matter. We're fighting in here. And, and it, but we're not, we're, we, it says we are fighting. It's not against flesh and blood, but against authority, against spiritual darkness of this world. So what we have, we're fighting is in the heavenly realms. We have angels, we have Jesus, but great, the Bible says greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Amen. And I believe it, and we need to stand on it, go home, or or if you're home, and have some cake and rejoice. Like this lady cat says that we're, that we're listening to today, she's like, it's not over, it's not over. Have some cake, rejoice, throw a party, because God is going to do the work that needs to be done, because we serve Almighty God just because you are backed up and you see that there is no way out and Egypt and the Egyptians are coming. God is about to part the Red Sea and you're going to walk right through and you're going to have the victory. Hallelujah. And, and we're going to praise Jesus because Jesus is the one that needs to be glorified in this situation. Not Trump, not Giuliani, not this guy or that guy or nothing. It's Jesus. Jesus is the one that's going to get the glory for this one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to finish this thing. We got to fight. We got to fight the good fight of faith. Don't lose hope. Fight your fight not here on earth. Fight your fight in the heavenlies because God is the one that's going to do the work. Keep fighting. Don't lose hope. It's not over. It's not over. Trust me. If you believe and you fight your fight not here on this earth but in heaven, in the heavenly realms, like it says, we're going to win this battle. We're going to win this battle. The battle is won already. I believe the battle is won. God is not going to leave us or forsake us. God is going to see us through this situation. And I'm not going to say, oh, if this happens. No, it's going to happen. Whatever God planned, it will happen. Hallelujah. And in my heart, and in my prayers today, I rejoice, even though I can't see it, even though I can't perceive it. I know God is going to do the work because that's what faith is all about. It's not about worldly things. My faith is in the heavenly realms. And I thank you for watching this video. And I know, I know, I know that God is in charge. And if you're if you're dealing with something and and you're down and you're down and and something is not right in your spirit and and you feel like you're being attacked, I'm gonna pray for you today. And if you don't know Jesus, I'm gonna pray for you too because first the first thing to have faith is to know Christ as Lord and Savior, and then that faith is is in the king of glory so when we believe in the king of glory we have some supernatural faith and that's who i believe in that's why today i have supernatural faith so if you're going through something if you don't know something that's going on i pray for you today in the name of jesus lord i ask you father god for those that are down that that that's that are that seem that that seem like they see everything is down and is done, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you lift their spirits up, Father God, that they could get back down on their knees, Father God, and understand that we're not 
playing, we're not praying, we're, this battle is not against flesh and blood, Father God, but this battle is in the heavenlies, Father God. I pray that your spirit, Father God, I pray for Reua to come and strengthen your body, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, those pastors, Father God, that, that, that are weak right now, Father God, that you give them the strength, Father God, that you give them the joy, that your people, Father God, that are down and out, Father God, today in the name of Jesus, Father God, I ask for strength, Father God, and Father, for those that don't know you, Father God, let them right now, Father God, say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. If you don't know Jesus, you could tell them today, forgive me for my sins, and Lord, come into my life, and I believe you died, and I believe you rose, and I want to be your son, and I ask today in the name of Jesus that your spirit will go inside those that need you, Father God. In Jesus' name, Father God, fast I thank you, Father. We're fasting tomorrow. I pray that you days. fast also. We're going to fast for 21 days, and I pray that you guys fast because the Word says that we need to fast and pray, Lord. And today and tomorrow we start a fast. I don't know how you want to fast. You can fast. Just take something out of your life and... and TV is a good thing to take out of your life. <laughs> the media is One meal. Thing. Hallelujah. One meal. Whatever you want. Fast. Give something to God because God is going to do a mighty work. And I thank you for watching. And I bless you. And until next week, we're going to see God do a mighty work. Believe in it. Fight the good fight of faith. I thank you, Father God. And, and and I will be praying and fasting for everyone that 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 right now, Father God. I pray. Let, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pray right now. I'm gonna pray that I'm gonna introduce this fast that we're having because I have a church out there too. Don't think that I'm just preaching to everybody on Facebook. I have a church, and and I want to thank those that that are still giving to the church, that are still being faithful to our church, and and I thank you for your givings. And and if you want to give. Trust me, God is going to bless you also. And I, I want to pray for my church today, for the house of God and gate to heaven church. And I pray, I want to pray for your fast for these 21 days. Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you reveal yourself through this fast. Give them the strength that they need, Father God, and the wisdom, Father God. And, and, and I pray for a revelation through this fast, Father God. I bless my people, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. I thank you until next week. We have the victory. Amen. Woo. We won. Hallelujah.